Welcome to Reading Thursdays, guys. This week we're going to read The Leprechaun Who Lost His Rainbow. These guys are dressed up in their St. Patrick's Day stuff. Kevin, look. Kevin. People are hiding. Good girl. Good look. Yes. The mischief. Yours is falling off. We're going to have to fix it. That's okay. Shout out to Zoe from our local librarian. Or, well, she's our local librarian from our local library who helped us get this book, The Leprechaun Who Lost His Rainbow. We're so excited. In the soft drizzle. Yeah, let's read together. In the soft drizzle that was falling on St. Patrick's Day, Colleen wished her grandfather good luck. Mm. He gave her a piece of red licorice, her favorite candy, and then he was off to the prey to play the bagpipes. Have you guys ever been to a St. Patrick's Day parade? Mischief has. Her grandfather had told Colleen that the notes he and his bandmates played were like colors on the air, colors only your ears could see. Playing music is like building a rainbow, he said. A little man I once knew taught me that. Don't worry, Kevin will make sure Mischief is all pretty. Good girl, Kevin. Her mom and dad were going to watch the parade from the window, but Colleen sat on the porch under her yellow umbrella. What if it rained so much that everyone went home and no one heard her grandfather's bagpipes? That would be a shame. His music was so beautiful and so sad it made people smile and cry at once. Have you guys ever felt more than one feeling at a time? I think Luna has. Luna feels a lot of big feelings. Yeah. <laughs> to pass the time, she played a song on her green penny whistle, which had a tiny shamrock printed on it. Her grandfather had brought it all the way from Ireland. It was her favorite thing in all the world, and she never let anybody touch it. Oh, that's a cute cuddle. When she finished the tune, she took a bite of her licorice. Just then, a little man appeared on the top step. He was a leprechaun. I like your penny whistle, the little man said. You play very well. Colleen started to say thank you when suddenly the leprechaun jumped into the air and took the licorice stick right out of her mouth. He dropped it into his hat. What? Thank you, he said. I'll be needing that or my name's not Roy G. Biv. It's just the shade of red I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. Why do you guys think he wants a shade of red? Colleen was shocked. What are you doing? She shouted. Give me my candy. Very fair. I would be mad if I was her too. The leprechaun frowned. Your grandfather was much more helpful. You know my grandfather? Colleen asked. Yes. We created a rainbow together back when he was a boy, Mr. Biv explained. Colleen was puzzled. Could this be the little man her grandfather talked about? Mr. Biv looked glum. I've lost my rainbow again, and my gold is at the end of it. To be a leprechaun in good standing, I must have gold, so I need someone's help to build a rainbow. He paused. That someone is you. Hmm. Would you guys help Roy G. Biv if he needed your help with making a rainbow? Wow, what's happening here, guys? We like that there's a little dog, too. To read together. Colleen frowned. Leprechauns were tricky. Everyone knew that. Could Mr. Biv be telling the truth? Let me show you something, the leprechaun said. 
Spin round with the hat and watch what happens. She twirled around holding the hat. Suddenly, a streak of bright red, just the color of her licorice, sprang out of the hat, hung in the air for a moment, and then disappeared. Colleen was amazed. Kevin, Kevin, were you amazed? Oh, mischief disappeared. Mischief's so amazed he's going in for a nap behind Kevin. Yeah, he's really settling in. See, Mr. Bib said, we're going to make a rainbow. And if there's a rainbow, the sun will come out to shine on the parade. Colleen took a deep breath. What do we do? For every color, I need something that belongs to you. Something red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Colleen looked around. There was her new orange basketball. She hated to give it up, but she tossed it into Mr. Bibb's hat. Ooh, nice shot. Look at she made it all the way from there. Woohoo, go girl. Immediately, an orange streak shot up. Pretty cool stuff. Look at this colorful page. She gave him her yellow umbrella. Yellow curved under the orange. When her blue ribbons went in, a beautiful blue appeared. Oh my goodness. What's your guys' favorite color? Is it green? Next to go was her indigo headband. And finally, her favorite violet scarf. Oh, wow, that's really nice of her to give him our favorite things. Now there was a rainbow of colors coming out of the hat, but something was wrong. Right between the color yellow and blue, there was empty space. Colleen knew which color was missing. Yes, we need green, Mr. Bibb said. And not just any green, Colleen. It's a very hard color to find, which is why rainbows are so rare. Have you guys seen a rainbow before? Look at all those greens. Do you think it's one of these? Let's find out. It was raining harder. The parade goers were starting to leave. Colleen was nervous. What would the leprechaun want? Oh, it's raining too much for the parade. It's raining on their parade. We're going to have to make one more sacrifice, lass, Mr. Bibb said. I'm going to need your penny whistle with the shamrock on it. That green is the last perfect color I need for my rainbow. Mm, just snored. Colleen wanted to cry. No, she said, clutching her precious penny whistle. My grandfather gave it to me. But Colleen, dear, if you give me the penny whistle, you and I can make the sun shine on this parade and on your grandfather, said Mr. Bibb pleadingly. Colleen held the penny whistle to her lips and blew one last sad note. She paused and then dropped the penny whistle into the leprechaun's hat. I think it worked. We're going to find out, but Luna is currently snoring. <laughs> In a flash, the rain stopped, the sun burst through the clouds, and a rainbow, complete with the most beautiful shade of green ever, spread across the sky. Whoa. Let me see here. Wait a second. A rainbow spread across our sky too. Look at that, guys. A rainbow appeared for the dogs. Wow. Just like the book. Look at that parade. The sun is out. The parade goers gazed up in wonder, and Colleen's grandfather began to play the bagpipes. 
The music was so beautiful and sad that people smiled and cried at once. Have you guys ever heard a song that was so beautiful and sad that it made you smile and cry at once? Nobody noticed that a pot of gold had appeared at the end of the rainbow right on Colleen's front lawn. Whoa. Roy G. Biv dug his hands, hand into the pot of gold and pulled out a flute that looked just like Colleen's penny whistle. Let's see where it is. But this wasn't a toy flute, it was a real one, made of silver, and there was a shamrock on it that looked like Colleen's, only this one was made of emeralds. Thanks for sharing with me, Mr. Biv said as he handed Colleen the flute, and with that, he and his pot of gold were gone. Colleen's grandfather stood in front of her. We are together. Who was that you were talking with he asked roy g biv she said he's a leprechaun i thought i recognized him her grandfather said he gave me his flute grandpa ah tis a nice one silver just like my bagpipes ah t oh i already said that <laughs> what do you say we play a tune do you think he got his bagpipes from the leprechaun once upon a time so together they played when Irish eyes are smiling, the colors danced on air. How wonderful. And we're going to read a little bit about rainbows. Have you ever seen a rainbow in the sky after a storm? Rainbows are rare and beautiful things in nature. They have always fascinated people. In the Bible, there's a rainbow in the story of Noah and the Great Flood. In that story, the rainbow appears after the flood as a symbol of God's love. In Irish folklore, Leprechauns hide a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and in The Wizard of Oz, a magical land exists over the rainbow. While storytellers have loved rainbows, scientists have studied them too. Rainbows appear when sunlight passes through tiny drops of water in the air. Rainbows also appear for the same reason in soap bubbles and the sprinkler spray on your lawn. Have you guys ever seen that? Light looks colorless, but it is actually made up of many colors. When light passes through water, it is refracted, which means it is broken down into its basic colors. These seven basic colors always appear in the same order. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. To help people remember the colors in the right order, a name was invented using the initials of the colors. Roy G. Biv. So that's the first letter of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. These days, however, some scientists say that there are only six colors in the rainbow because indigo is now thought to be just another shade of blue. Roy G. Boom <laughs> just doesn't have that magical ring that a rainbow deserves, does it? Oh man, thanks for reading this wonderful story with us, guys. We love St. Patrick's Day, and we hope you guys have a wonderful, happy St. Patrick's Day. Kevin has moved her pillow and cuddled it the whole entire time. All right, let's get see what these guys thought of the story. Break, come here. Kevin, did you like this one? You're going to take it off? Okay. Kevin. Kevin. Wow. Okay. Kevin uh, has a head scratch. Luna, did you like this story? Luna. You helping Kevin with her head scratch? Come here. Lou, Luna, this. Give me a high five. Oh, okay, that's really nice. Come here. Kevin. Kevin. Sit up. Thank you. Did you like this book? High five. Yay! Mr. Just sits back there with it on his head still because he's a good boy. Oh, do you feel better now? Do you don't have it on your head? Okay. I'm glad you loved it. Luna has left us because she said break. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for joining us for Reading Thursday.